Hello everybody. I'm going to show you in this video some demonstration about controlling a video game with eye movements using only two temporal EEG sensors. As you know, some people with disabilities lack control of their voluntary muscles, so they are unable to do even simple tasks. Fortunately, they can still control their eyes. So, for them, the eye movements can be a valid option for communication with the environment or for controlling a wheelchair, for example. Using eye movements can be helpful not only for handicapped people, but also for healthy ones, for controlling smart homes or robots in some difficult situations. And, of course, it can also be used for playing video games. But, the problem is that most researchers need to put sensors on the user's face to detect and classify eye movements. However, putting the sensors around the eyes is inappropriate in several situations, such as driving a car and it's also not suitable for daily life applications. That's why we proposed a new position to detect eye movements. The new position of the sensor is around the ears where there is no hair or muscles and this is a good location for recording the eye movements. It makes the user more comfortable and the sensor can be hidden naturally by the ear without need of a hat or cap. And also the sensors can be attached on the end of glasses arms as an, as an alternative. In this application, we developed a simple real-time algorithm to distinguish among six kinds of eye movements such as blinking, fixation, looking right, left, up, and down. EEG controlled vid gaming applications range widely from strictly medical to completely non-medical applications. Games can provide strong motivation for practicing and thereby achieving better control with rehabilitation systems. In this video, we present a real-time control of a video game with eye movements for asynchronous and non-invasive communication systems using two temporal EEG sensors. As you can see, the users are able to avoid meteors by controlling the direction and speed of the character with their eyes. Most researchers have been using only brain activity to make BCI applications based on P300, SSVEP, or motor imagery. Using BCIs in daily life is still a big challenge because of the, their limitations concerning classification accuracy and also the number of degrees of freedom in control applications. EOG can be an alternative technique for human-machine interfaces because it is simple and an easy technique for detecting eye movements. It can help handicapped people to control a wheelchair, for example, with high classification accuracy and a large number of degrees of freedom. But it would be inappropriate in many situations again because of the need to put electrodes on the face. That's why we propose to solve this problem by using EOG artifacts included in the EEG signal. So our aim is to establish a portable hybrid brain-computer interface based on EEG and EOG signals to help handicap people and improve their quality of life. However, we see a huge opportunity for advancement in this field by using EOG artifacts in EEG signals. Through this work, we can help not only handicapped people, 
but also blind people to use their eye movements with auditory feedback for controlling smart home applications. For able-bodied users, the idea of sending commands with closed eyes can decrease the fatigue issue related to rich, detailed visual environments. In some special eye movement-based applications, the visual information can be replaced by information from the tactile, olfactory, or auditory senses, such as the case of reducing or increasing room temperature and the volume of music. So again, thank you for watching this video and please feel free to send us an email if you have any technical questions. Thank you.